And what is going on guys? This is Tabmock99. Thank you for joining me. We are going to be discussing today the most important island in video game history. No, not that. Not that one either. No, guys, come on. I'm talking about Shang Tsung's island from Mortal Kombat. Now, right from the beginning, we're told that fighters from all walks of life gather to this one spot, an uncharted island that Shang Tsung presides over as they compete in Mortal Kombat. And what's the inspiration from this island? Well, I think most of us already know the answer to that question. It comes from the classic Bruce Lee film, Enter the Dragon, where the main villain, Han, hosts a martial arts tournament from his own private island. An island fortress, really. After the war, the nationality of the island was uncertain. And sometime after that, Han bought it. What do you know about Han? He lives like a king on that island. Totally self-sufficient. All of his efforts, seemingly, are directed towards supporting what he calls his school of martial arts. Han's only contact with the outside world is this tournament, which... Of course, in the Mortal Kombat universe, there's something a little bit more supernatural going on here. I mean, you can try and bring your radio with you, but you won't get any service. Can you hear me now? Bad. And you can also try and check your location on a compass, but those go all haywire too. So, good luck with that. Some of the best descriptions that I've seen of Shang Tsung's Island actually come from sources that are slightly less than canon. Like in the Malibu comics, for instance. When it shows us the island of Shang Tsung, there have been many tales of this place. Some stories say that it's a portal to another world. Some say that the island itself is nothing but an illusion. There's one thing that's agreed on by the storytellers and the tale spinners. It is a place of wonders. Or the Mortal Kombat trading card set by Skybox. One of them describes the island as between worlds. Each Mortal Kombat must take place on an island between the realms of Earth and Outworld. On this seemingly peaceful land, the fate of humanity will be decided. The grotesque and evil warriors of Outworld have won nine battles in a row. If they win the tenth, they win complete rule of both realms. These are some really great descriptions. So, where can you go to find this island anyway? I'll never forget how in the original Mortal Kombat, for the PC, the intro says it's in the center of the Lost Sea. This location is confirmed in Mortal Kombat Deception, in the description of Shang Tsung's Courtyard Arena, as well as in Conquest Mode by Shang Tsung himself. Return to him and inform him that he is welcome to face me on my island in the Lost Sea. The tournament is fast approaching, however. But, if you take a look back at the Tiger Electronics game in the instruction manual, it actually says the East China Sea. The inspiration for that probably comes from the official Mortal Kombat 1 comic by John Tobias. There's a line in one panel that says the sail barge sets out towards the East China Sea. In fact, the comic series by Malibu actually repeated that one line verbatim, confirming the East China Sea. And the Mortal Kombat novel also mentions the East China Sea several times. If you watch Mortal Kombat the movie, well, they don't say one way or the other what sea the island is in. but the original script actually had a scene where Johnny Cage is talking to Master Boyd, actually Shang Tsung in disguise, and in that scene, Master Boyd says, It's the most ancient tournament in the world, held on an island in the South China Sea. And it plays out pretty much the exact same way in the novelization of the film. There's also a book that shows what went on behind the scenes of the Mortal Kombat movie. And the part of the book that gives a brief synopsis of the film actually talks about Johnny Cage and says he will travel to an uncharted island in the South China Sea. So in the Threshold universe, at least, it seems that Shang Tsung's island is located in the South China Sea. But a user on Mortal Kombat Online named Goro Still Lives managed to track down an internal document called Threshold Entertainment Presents A Writer's Guide to Mortal Kombat The Animated Series. And in it, it says the first Mortal Kombat tournament was held nearly 10 centuries ago. The battle took place on an island created by the Elder Gods as a neutral point between Earth and Outworld. On Earth, the island existed somewhere in the East China Sea. Now even though this idea never made it anywhere beyond this document, I have to say I really don't like the idea that the island is neutral territory created by the Elder Gods. This is Shang Tsung's island. All the fighters coming here means he's got the home team advantage. Going back again to the official Mortal Kombat 1 comic, 
it describes Shang Tsung as the island's emperor. Now, the word emperor is never used again to describe Shang Tsung, but it's an interesting word choice. It shows he's the one in charge here. And that's the way it should be. This is one of those things that the movie definitely got right. Until we reach the island where you have no dominion. My dominions are well known to me, sorcerer. Thank you. So one of the most fascinating aspects about the island to me is what happened to it after Shang Tsung's loss in Mortal Kombat. According to the Mortal Kombat 2 comic, it was shown that the island self-destructed as a result of Shang Tsung's death. The island, it turns out, was held together by Tsung's existence. With him gone, the island just crumbles. And that's always the story that felt right to me. But, when they gave the story a retelling in Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, they actually showed where Shang Tsung destroyed the island himself, out of spite. Shang Tsung is destroying the island! Get out! We must return to the Wuxi Academy! You won your first Mortal Kombat tournament. Earth has been spared, but Shang Tsung is a poor loser. This is Goro's lair. It is one of Shang Tsung's traps. You must find your way off the island before it crumbles into the sea. Make your way to the Wuxi Academy. But, oddly enough, most of the games treated the island like it was just fine. Like, nothing ever happened to it. In MK2, when you fight a secret character, it says prepare yourself to return to Goro's lair. Which, of course, is part of Shang Tsung's island. And in case there's any doubt, once you're done, it lets you know that now you're going to return to Outworld. And speaking of Goro's Lair, even though it's supposed to be part of Shang Tsung's island, in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, they moved it to Outworld. Yeah, it's right underneath the armory. Which, it turns out, is right underneath the combat tomb. Who knew? And in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Raiden gathers Earth's forces on the island to mount the attack against Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. Which is weird, not because the island still exists, although there's that, but because it's Shang Tsung's island. So if anyone should be using this island as a base of operations, it should be him and Quan Chi, not Raiden. Johnny Cage's bio even mentions that he parachuted down the island for maximum dramatic effect. So yeah, seems like the island is still intact. I mean, in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, you can see that Courtyard is still there. Shao Kahn moved into it and kicked Shang Tsung out of his throne, but it's around. And it's still there in Mortal Kombat Deception, although Shang Tsung is back. Although I guess you could argue that here, some of the arenas are non-canon. Like, Shang Tsung appearing as an old man here, that's definitely not canon. So if there was some confusion about what happened to his island, whether it sunk, whether it was still intact, in the new timeline, they kind of cleared that up. In Mortal Kombat 2011, after Liu Kang defeated Shang Tsung, the island was just fine. There was no scene where the good guys had to escape or anything like that. And in the Mortal Kombat X comics, Fujin and Raiden are talking about protecting Earth's boundaries, but they left a strategic weak point unguarded. The place between realms, Shang Tsung's island. It turns out that Cassie Cage was kidnapped and brought there against her will. And there's a scene where it shows the good guys taking a boat ride over there so they could go to Shang Tsung's island and rescue her. And Johnny even remarks to Sonya, never thought we'd be here again. And in the trade paperbacks, they actually came up with a nickname for Shang Tsung's Island. Now keep in mind that these volumes kind of had a blood theme going on. So, Volume 1 was Blood Ties. Volume 2 was Blood Gods. Volume 3 was Blood Island. Now I think that's a really fitting name for it. Blood Island. But, going back to the Mortal Kombat novel, it's actually given a proper name. Shimura Island. Shim... Shimura Island. Shimura? 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 Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's no pronunciation guide, so hopefully I got it right with one of those. Next order of business, there is another island to explore. No, that's not the island I'm talking about. No, not that one either. Definitely not. You know what? Maybe it's easier just to show you. This time I'm talking about the Yin Yang Island, a place that exists sometimes here on Earth, and other times here in Outworld. According to the in-game description, the island is stuck in between two realms, Earthrealm and Outworld. 
Sailors have said they've seen an island in a bed of fog, then it would vanish. They said that the trees there would become snakes, then turn back into trees again. No one would believe them and blamed the strange delusional tales about the island on the rum. So it's never really been clear if that was part of Shang Tsung's island that just broke off at some point and remained trapped in between realms, or if that was always a separate island. But I will tell you that out of all the things that have happened with Shang Tsung's island, the absolute craziest had to be what happened when Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe was released. That's where Shang Tsung's island merged with Wonder Woman's island of Themyscira. As the Mortal Kombat universe and the DC universes were being fused together, there was a point where at last the two universes have collapsed. Both sides mingle freely, but the union is not yet complete. In the confusion, battle lines are drawn. It's your island, Shang Tsung. Fight for it. This scene also plays out in story mode. Superman and Earth may be in for another invasion. Tell me something I don't know. The invasion has reached the Mascara. Do you need help? No. I'll contact you when it's over. Wonder Woman out. Leave this island at once, or pay with your lives. I am Princess Diana, emissary of the Mascara. You are not welcome here. Surrender and you will be given safe passage back to your world. Aryan fool, I am Shang Tsung, and this is my island. Fight! <laughs> Wonder Woman to Batman. The invaders have retreated into the jungle. I have more bad news. By the gods. Our world and the alien world occupy the same time and space as fragments separated only by large... Large yellow energy rifts. I've seen them. We need Superman, but no... The island is also featured in Kitana's ending. In it, she's awarded the island as a kind of safe space for her and the rest of the Edenian resistance. It was Raiden who decreed that Kitana could have this island, so she decided to name the place Argus Island in honor of her god. Yeah. Real nice, Katana. Real nice. Until next time, this is Tabmok99. And remember, no man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give it a like, that really helps me out when you do that. Feel free to leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you can be sure to get an alert whenever I drop a new video. And now, stay tuned for a bonus scene, a clip from MK Legacy where it turns out that Shang Tsung's Island actually gives the combatants their superpowers. I'm the God of Thunder. It's my ability to harness lightning. Believe it or not, each one of you has a supernatural ability. You may never notice it as you go about your everyday lives, but it's part of what makes you special. Come on. You mean like superheroes or something? Normally your powers are muted. Here in this place, your powers are freely expressed. Your exceptional speed is beyond normal. Here, it'll be even more powerful. Even one's heightened senses become superhuman. Your ability to use elements to your advantage. You've always known that was special. I'm still calling bullshit.